Hello and welcome to SW Homes uh, YouTube channel. So I just wanted to, really excited to show you this one. Um, we're in Farnham in Surrey, it's a beautiful part of the world. Uh, an old school historic market trading town and we're very fortunate enough to have just secured this building which is an old, um, an old solicitor's building um, and we're going to turn it into seven two bed luxury flats. So come and have a look and I'll show you around. Hello. Welcome to 11 South Street. So this is the flat one. So this is our first flat, which has got its own independent entrance. The other six flats are gonna be from the side entrance. And um, this is the old reception of the Slister's building. So we're gonna knock all these walls out. We're gonna create a nice uh, welcome entrance. And to the right will become the living room and kitchen. So let's go and take a look. So in here is gonna become a lovely big open plan living room kitchen. Where you're standing now is gonna be a nice big sofa. There is some, overlooking issues so we're going to obscure some of these panels probably the bottom panels to keep the natural light at the top and then in here we're going to keep all the fireplaces throughout because it is a conservation building um, and put a nice little breakfast bar in here a full corner kitchen to about here so all these walls are coming out and then there'll be a little dining room table here this flat behind me is the is the rear flat which we'll take a look at in a second and i'll show you the bedrooms this way so in the corner of the reception room is going to become one of our two bedrooms in this flat all these walls get knocked out and we're going to put a shower room in this area which will be accessible only for this flat and then there'll be a corridor through here past this single bedroom where you're standing and then at the far end here will be the bigger bedroom of the two. This wall gets cut, cut off and all this is coming out. Let's go around the other side and I'll show you the other entrance to the flats. Cool, so we're back outside and that is the entrance to flat one. This side door is the entrance to uh, six of the other seven flats, so come inside and let's have a look. So we're in the back part of the building. Um, this is an extension that was added on many, many years ago. Um, our plan is to simply put a wall in here, keep the cost really cost efficient in this area. There's already a toilet here, so we're going to knock this out, put it into a bathroom, keep these walls and doors in the same position to create two really good sized two, be uh, two bedrooms. And then we're going to put a new wall here, which will be into what will become a one big, really nice size living room kitchen area. It's hard to envisage now, but all these walls coming out will create this really nice big space. And we're going to make two little private courtyards from our le lessons learned from our last development. We've really got a premium rent for little private court uh, courtyard gardens. So our intention is to knock this through. We have to get planning permission because it's a conservation area. Put a nice big set of French doors in here and create like a double double aspect garden for this flat. This wall's all coming out and the kitchen will be in this far corner. So past the new doorway and we're going to look at the gardens outside. So this part of the building is still going to remain com communal area. We're going to have bins and bikes out here. We've actually got our own bike bin shed that we're going to use. And then this back part of the garden that was originally in designed to be one big communal space, we're actually going to separate and have one of the ground floor flats at the rear of the main building. And this rear flat we just looked around has two separate private gardens. If you take a look at this building, you can see the beauty of it. I mean, it really is a gorgeous Georgian building. Um, full conservation area, so everything we need to do is planning, but it's going to be worth it in the end. So we're now back in the core of the building. We're going to turn right into look at the last ground floor flat and then we'll head upstairs and look at the four upstairs. So this is flat three. This is going to become the new entrance into flat three. This is all going to be walled in and the other side of this wall will be the entrance into the master bedroom. And you can see by the size of these rooms, they're going to be really, really beautiful. We're definitely going for a premium finish on these and we're going to use the fireplaces and all the details to make it look really, really nice once it's done. It's a bit more complicated this flat because this is where the value is being added. Um, so the entrance into the flat is here. To make this 62 square metres, we've had to steal a bit of this area to get a shower room in. These two ground floor flats are the only two with showers. All the rest have full baths with showers overhead. You're standing in the second bedroom and then we're going to come through this cupboard which is all lightweight stud construction. This will become the corridor into the living room kitchen at the back. So come and have a look at that area. So the other side of this wall is where we're going to enter this living room kitchen. So there'll be a doorway here into a lovely big south facing living room kitchen um, we're going to keep all the fireplaces put the kitchen in this corner nice big sofa dining room table oh, and here we're going to cut this out and have this as its own private courtyard at the back so a lovely big oversized set of french doors um, which will be timber made and just really complement this flat so that's it for those three ground floor flats we'll head upstairs and have a look at the other four 
So we're sticking with our rule of trying to go with the flow of this building. Even though it's an old Georgian building, it's very old, lots of wobbles and, and lots of uh, quirks to work with. We are going to maintain and keep as much of this building as possible. So starting with this staircase, it's, it's absolutely stunning. We're going to sand all this down, repaint it, make, bring it really up to the standards. And then we've got two entrances here into these two flats. Um, so this is the entrance into the rear flat. Come have a look. So I've just come into the hallway of flat four, um, floor of seven. The, where you're standing now is going to become a bathroom. There's a door which goes behind here with a lintel into a lovely big master bedroom. There's another shower room here, really good sized bathroom with a full bath. And then here becomes the secondary double bedroom with a doorway through this lovely cupboard into the living room kitchen. Very similar to all the flat layouts downstairs, but um, we're going to keep as many of these details as possible because it's stunning. So to show you the living room of flat four, we need to go into flat five and round the corner. So this is the entrance to flat five, which we'll have a look at in a second. Um, if you just follow me around to the left, I'll show you the, the living room kitchen of this flat. So in the far corner of the building, this door will not be here. There'll be a new entrance through here into this lovely kitchen living room. Working with all the fireplaces, same theme as downstairs, nice big kilt corner kitchen, sofa, dining room table, TV probably above the chimney taking full advantage of the lovely uh, tree view out the front, out the back. So that's it for flat four. Uh, we're now in flat five. So this is the entrance um, to, to the front flat. The part to your right is all the bathroom, which we'll show you around in a second. But if you follow me through this door, I'll show you the living room and where the bedrooms are gonna be. So we're right at the back end of flat five. Uh, we're gonna knock all these walls out, these are all lightweight petition, so we're going to open this up into one big living room kitchen again, um, keep the fireplace, keep it a feature and keep all the windows as they are um, and I'll show you the bedrooms and the bathroom at the other end. So this is the master bedroom of flat five, it's a really really good size, um, we've just got wardrobes going in one corner, keeping the windows, going to just maintain and uh, refurbish them and then all we've got in here is a lovely big bed and that lovely fireplace. And then we're going to pinch a little bit of space on here. This becomes uh, the second bedroom, and this becomes the, the bathroom for this flat. Let's go upstairs. So we're now on the second floor of the building, and the same principles as the floor below. We're just trying to keep as many of the walls in as possible. Um, this is flat six and flat seven. These are the entrances um, into the flats, and uh, I'll come and show you around this one. So we're in the hallway of this flat six, and um, there's going to be a bedroom in here. We're going to convert this into a really good sized family bathroom. We're going to even try and use the walls in here and create the storage cupboard and uh, another bedroom before the living rooms at the far end. So this is the second bedroom and you're standing in the new living room kitchen room of, of this flat. Kitchen's in the corner where the camera's positioned. Nice big TV or TV point will we'll position the um, dining room table and a lovely big sofa where you can enjoy these lovely views of the garden at the back. It's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. So we're back out of flat six into flat seven. The only problem is there's a wall that divides the living room and kitchen between this flat and the, and the back. So we have to go back through that flat into the far corner to enjoy the views of the castle for the living room of this one. And then we're going to build a new corridor through here, which will be the master bedroom a secondary bedroom and then the bathroom gets put in this corner and again we nip a little bit of this space here just to create a walk through through this flat into the, the family bathroom. So come have a look. So this is the entrance to flat seven, our final flat. We're going to build a brand new corridor through here which will lead a doorway. We'll come here into this lovely big master bedroom. They'll be built in wardrobes right along this wall and then here will be the entrance into the second bedroom and the bathroom and the other end of this wall which is a solid wall we're going to put a new lintel in and we're going to have this as our entrance into the living room and kitchen room. So come through. So this is the other side of that wall into this lovely big living room and kitchen area, working with the same details, keeping the chimney, keeping the windows um, and enjoying these lovely views. We'll have the kitchen um, over in the corner where the camera is. We'll have a nice dining room table here and a lovely sofa where you can enjoy this excellent view of Farnham Castle. Okay, so that's it. That brings us to the end of our tour of our commercial two seven unit scheme in Farnham. Um, really looking forward to showing you around this one. We're going to do a series of videos through the demo phases, through the first fixes and then completion. So um, yeah, do like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so we can update you when the next videos are, are launched. Um, if you're interested in getting involved in any of these developments, we do lots of joint venture partnerships with investors. 
Um, so please do get in contact, DM us on Instagram at SWHomesLTD um, or yeah, get in contact via the website and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.